Okay. Hello, everyone. My name is Sasha Austin, and I am the author of Sasha Savvy Loves to Code. Okay. <laughs> um, so I'm an information systems student at Pace University, and I attended a STEM-based high school in Washington, D.C. So while I was in high school, I received an email stating that I had the opportunity to apply to Microsoft for an internship. And I actually deleted the email just because I didn't think that it would be cool to intern at Microsoft because even though we had to code in school, nobody really cared about it, honestly. <laughs> so um, my internship coordinator came to my class and said, Sasha, um, did you receive the email? And so, of course, I said no, just to kind of go along with it. And so he said, well, I sent the email. Let's go to your inbox. And so at that point, I was scared because I deleted the email. But at some point, I guess um, a student called him over, so I was able to move the trash back to the <laughs> inbox. And so since then, I interned at Microsoft, and I've had not eight additional internships. Um, while I was... In high school, I just, based off of that internship, I saw the importance of STEM and technology specifically. And so once I graduated, I, I used Kickstarter to publish my book, Sasha Savvy Loves to Code. And so with that, I um, reached my goal in four days, and I raised $5,000. And by the end of the campaign, in 45 days, I raised $18,000. Okay, so Sasha Savvy Loves to Code is about a 10-year-old girl from Washington, D.C., and she basically is trying to figure out what she wants to do for, high school, uh, for the summer. And so her mom gives her the idea to learn how to code. And so these are a few reviews that I have on Amazon. Um, Sasha Savvy Loves to Code is here to show little girls that they can program computers for fun and for profit. Um, Sasha Savvy is here to teach girls that coding the world is a good is a girl thing too. And so this was really to inspire girls and minorities to pursue STEM. Last month, um, Sasha Savvy Loves to Code actually was published in Japanese. And so that was really inspiring for me just because it came from just being a campaign on Kickstarter to now being published in other languages. So this is a few of the success stories from uh, publishing the book. Um, mostly self-published books only sell about 500 copies. So the fact that I've been able to sell over 6,000 copies since June 2017 was very exciting for me. Um, the governor of Arkansas also um, made Sasha Savvy Loves to Code as a reading and computer science initiative, so he bought 900 copies of my book. And just because of the book, I've been featured in Black Enterprise, um, Huffington Post, Good Morning America, and Forbes, and I now visit schools and community organizations to talk about the points of STEM. Um, recently, I was featured in the Disney Dream Big campaign just to show girls that they don't just have to be princesses, but they can also be interested in technology. So I'm going to... Yeah, it's supposed to play. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> and when I think about older girls, um, myself included, my sisters, my daughter, that are influenced by the idea of the Disney princess, you know that this is an opportunity to inspire girls, girls to do something more. We're able to raise that in two weeks. It is inspirational to have kids see a story they can relate to. find that the Disney princesses are such strong female role models for young girls to show that girls can be anything, that girls can do anything. So my favorite princess is Princess Tiana because she was the first African American princess and she's an entrepreneur. Pocahontas was very memorable within my childhood. Belle because she is just courageous, smart. You know, it's going out there and being who you're going to become. Breaking the molds, taking on challenges, leading. It's very important that the girls know these stories, inspiring, because there is magic in all of us. 
sometimes you need to see role models and people out there doing the things that you aspire to be doing. If you continue to tell kids to dream big, it ignites that precious curiosity. It really enables people to see beyond their situation. They are coming together to say that these traditions don't work for us. It's girls working together. I really wanted to be a part of this campaign because I hope that I can inspire others to pursue what's in their heart. We shouldn't put girls or anybody in a box that honestly you can be whoever you want to be and not celebrate. I really wanted to be a part of this campaign because I hope that I can inspire others to pursue what's in their heart. We shouldn't put girls or anybody in a box. And so with this campaign, I was the girl that they chose for the U.S. And these are a few images of um, schools that I've spoken to. And this is what inspires me the most, just because I am able to see people that, I, the reason why I wrote this book was to get minorities interested. So the fact that I'm able to talk to students that look like me and I'm able to persuade them to pursue STEM is great for me. And this is another picture. Um, I actually went to New Mexico to speak to students. And so with this video, I went to Arkansas because the governor of Arkansas brought me to Arkansas to speak to five schools in two days. So that was a lot. <laughs> but um, one of the students was actually very excited to receive the book. And I'm always hesitant because I don't know if like the kids are actually interested and in wanting to learn about STEM, but this showed me that they were. also what keeps me interested. When I went to Ohio, I spoke at a elementary school, and one of the teachers informed me that one of the students, Destiny, actually dropped out of her robotics club just because she felt like it wasn't cool and her friends teased her about it. And so Mr. Beck said, Sasha, thank you so much for taking your time to talk to Destiny. A few weeks after you came, she decided to to join the robotics club again. I appreciate you inspiring the kids to code and I hope there'll be more and more of them following your footsteps. Also, in my Instagram DM, <laughs> I received this message. A lot of people DM me random stuff. So um, one of the teachers sent me this um, message as well. And so it says, a student pointed to the illustration of Sasha on the cover and said, let's pretend this is me. She said, science and technology are her favorite things at school. But you know what? At school, she's known as a troublemaker. She struggles with math, and I don't believe she seems as though she is paying attention. This book was a great beginning for helping us get to know her and support her more. <laughs> Thank you. Re representation matters. Authors like you make a difference. Sorry, I'm sick. So. <laughs> um, <coughs> so in one of my slides, I teach them just what coding is. So coding is a set of instructions a computer or device can understand based off of many languages. And it, says, it explains exactly what you wanted to do at any given time. And so I just explain it as learning another language, whether it's Spanish, Japanese, et cetera. Um, in my book, I break down code by C-O-D-E. So communicate, which is you choose the language for your coding project. Organize when you break down the code step by step. Demonstrate is when you ask the computer what you want it to do, and express is when it actually executes the program. And so my advice for educators is to um, provide them with a positive mindset just because me not only being a speaker but also being a, a STEM student, I realized that a lot of the kids aren't confident or they don't think it's cool or they think it's too difficult. So you have to provide them with a positive mindset. 
Um, you also need to show black and women role models in technology that look like them to make a difference. Um, have field trips to tech companies and also invite guests from tech companies. And even though I am an intern and I am the author of the book, it, as you can see from that video, it's really important to show them role models that look like them. Um, also explain how coding can be used to solve our biggest problems. And as a STEM degree, th this is one of the reasons why I <laughs> decided to pursue it is because you can make at least 88,000 coming out of college. And I wanna make a lot of money, so. <laughs> um, so for, these are a few coding resources for students, um, elementary and middle and high school students. And so let's connect. If you want to reach out to me to speak at a school or just to speak at any organizations, or if you have any questions, you can reach out to me here. Thank you.